The show begins with Elena Walker who wakes up underwater and finds herself on a mysterious island as she swims to the surface. She has no clue where she is and finds a microchip in her arm. What even surprises her the more is when she finds a creature called the dodo, a species of bird that went extinct in the 17th century. Just as she pets the bird, a shirtless man throws a spare towards her, claiming the bird to be his dinner. Elena protests that the creature hasn't been seen since 17th century and he wants to use it for dinner. The man realizes she's a new person on this island and decides to give her explanation on where she is. He introduces himself as Bob, who was fighting the War of the Nasses in 1940, only to find himself teleported to this island just the way Elena was teleported here too from the 21st century. Everything about the war seemed like two weeks ago to him, and explains that the mysterious island is a home to all sort of species that went on extinction. Just as she embarks on a journey with Bob to know more about the island, she finds a wounded Parasaurolopha shot by an arrow. Bob suggests they kill it to put it out of its misery, but Elena doesn't want to see a precious creature like this one die. With Bob's help, they pulled out the arrow and she treated the creature wounds. Bob asks her how she knows so much about these creatures, and she reveals it was her job back on Earth. She was a professor of paleontology who studied fossils of creatures just like this one. Just as they set to continue their journey, Bob gets brutally killed with an arrow by a woman riding a raptor. Elena runs away for her life while been chased by the woman. She falls down a valley only to find herself in a burning village that is being attacked by raptor riding soldiers. The soldiers kill every single humans they saw at that village, while the women and children are taken as slaves. A raptor tries to attack Elena, but she directs a shining shield to the creature eyes so it won't see her. The leader of the attack who witnesses how Elena knows much about the creatures, orders his men to spare her life. Elena is knocked out, and she wakes up after a few hours later inside a tent to be greeted by Edmund Rockwell, a scientist from Victorian England in 1890, who also mysteriously found himself on this island. Some human beings here think this island is their afterlife or purgatory, but Edmund Rockwell thinks otherwise as he calls the island the Ark. He tells her that she is in a camp of General Gaius Marcellus Nerva, the Conqueror. Edmund takes her to a pit where he left hundreds of raptors starving and tells her to help him understand the creatures. Elena instead grows angry because these creatures do not deserve to be treated like this, same with some of the humans whom they placed captive in their prisons. Since she knows more about dinosaurs, Edmund threatened her to tell him everything she knows about them, but instead, she hits him and tries to escape. He orders the soldiers to stop her, but Elena is a really fast runner. Unfortunately, General Nerva blocks her path of escape with a T-Rex dinosaur, and she is placed with the other prisoners at General Nerva's camp prison for disobeying Edmund's wishes. There she befriends a little boy called Jamie, who came from Anno Domini in 1746. He was fighting a war that time when he woke up to also find himself on this island only to be taken as captive by General Nerva. He tells her not to be afraid that they will all be fine, but that's when Edmund show up. To teach Elena a lesson for defying his request, Edmund commands a huge man-eating dinosaur to devour the little kid in front of her. Later in the evening, she is summoned by General Nerva to meet in his tent. We find out that General Nerva was a commander during the time of the Roman Empire. He apparently led a rebellion when he was killed, as he hated the corrupt officials who ran the empire. After his death he also found himself in this mysterious island and decides to conquer it. Nerva believes it's only people who have died that ends up on this island and interrogates her on who she is. He finds out that Elena comes from 2,000 years after his era, and she's a teacher and philosopher. Knowing this, the general sees her as someone who will be useful to him and decides to spare her life. Since she's indeed a philosopher, the general brings out a strange artifact and tells her to show him how to use it. He explains that there are two other artifacts just like this one, but are scattered across this mysterious island. According to the inscription he read, he believes that once he possessed the two other parts of the artifacts, he will be able to open a portal that will help him live this mysterious island, which he calls the afterlife. Nerva wishes to use the artifacts to go back to Rome and take over the empire of the corrupt aristocrats. While he talks, Elena takes advantage of his distraction. She poisons Nerva's wine glass with the slime of a highly venomous snail. Nerva drinks the wine and it paralyzes him but this paralysis will only last for two hours. This is a big escape opportunity for Elena, so she takes the artifact from the paralyzed general's hand and begins a smart plan for her escape. While the general's men are asleep, she takes some meats and scatter them around the camp. Then she tries to open the cage of the hungry dinosaurs but Edmund stops her. He orders the soldiers to capture her but Elena this time around fights back. She successfully opens the cage of dinosaurs in their captivity and they begin to devour Nerva's men one by one. One of the raptors tries to harm her but the Parasaurolophus she saved back at the forest defends her.
Quickly, Elena sets all the prisoners in the camp free, but things does not go as planned as the general regain consciousness faster than she expected. Just as the general tries to catch her, the Parasaurolophus places Elena on its back to help her escape from the camp, but she gets impaled with a spear thrown by the general. The general vows to find her by any means possible, and not just use the artifact to conquer Rome, but he's also going to conquer her world. Elena summons the courage to remove the spear from her body, and tries to run from General Nervamen chasing her, but she's too weak. She falls to the ground out of exhaustion, and when the men are about to get her, a mysterious warrior comes to her rescue by killing the men and takes her to somewhere safe. Elena wakes up and searches for food to eat. The little she found, she gave them to her pet dinosaur. Some wild creatures attacks her from nowhere, leading to her to fall inside a pit while running away from them. Elena gets into a bigger trouble when a saber-toothed tiger attacks her, but the mysterious warrior comes to her rescue for the second time, killing the tiger with her formidable skills. The warrior introduces herself as Mai Yin, a Chinese warrior from the era of the Han Dynasty. Mai Yin tells her that there is something in this cave that is of great value to her and asks Elena to accompany her if she wants. While they explore the cave, she informs Elena that half of the island are looking for her because General Nerva has promised a pricey reward for anyone who brings her to him. They decide to rest and Mayan skins a rabbit for dinner. While they eat, she tells Elena that everyone here has the microchip in their hand. No one knows why they mysteriously appeared on this island or perhaps are they being punished. After a long walk, they stumble across a gate and Mayan realizes that the artifact Elena stole from General Nerva is the key to the gate. As Mayan and Elena enters the gates thanks to the artifact, they come across spiders, but they are of no threat to them until the spider boss shows up. Mayan tries everything in her power but couldn't take down the beast. Fortunately, Elena has a plan. She notices that the smaller spider's food is a blue liquid and throws it on the body of the spider boss. The smaller spider's climbs on its body and in that way, they killed the spider boss. Something surprisingly happens afterwards, just like most games we play, a loot drop always awaits at the end of a boss fight, and same goes for Mayin and Elena, as they mysteriously receive a high-tech laser-operated rifle just after killing the spider boss. Elena tests the rifle which creates an opening in the cave. Upon seeing the great capabilities of this weapon, Mayan believes it to be another chance to reform an alliance and attack General Nerva again, ending his conquest. As they come out of the cave, dozens of men points arrows at them. Their leader is a man called John. John and Mayan know each other because they were once allies. John and Mayan has been living in this island for long, and their family members were massacred by General Nerva. Being fed up by the unnecessary bloodshed that Nerva has been committing, Mayan joined forces with John and his tribe to lead a rebellion against the tyrant General Nerva. They could have actually won the war, but a trusted friend of Mayan betrays them, leading to the massacre of their allied forces. After the war they lost, John and Mayan became enemies because he blames Mayan for the reason they lost the war against General Nerva. He even wants to kill her now, but thanks to his adopted daughter Alassie, who begs on her behalf, he decides to spare her and takes them to their village. Just as they get to John village, Mayan tries to convince him to reform another alliance till they can go on another war with General Nerva as they have higher chances of winning this time around thanks to the new weapon she just acquired. John tells Mayan to follow him, while Elena is asked to stay behind as they go to discuss the matter with the Council of Elders. Elena hears a cough from a close-by room in the village and goes to check what's wrong. She sees dozens of sick people on the bed, and a lassie enters and tells Elena that they are suffering from swarm fever, and the big problem is that they don't know what causes this disease. John and Mayin returns from the council meeting, and it turns out that Mayin's proposal on another war against General Nerva was rejected. John tells her that they should be more worried about the people falling sick in their village, leading to Elena to ask how they can make medicine to cure their villagers' diseases. John tells her the only ingredients to make the cure are blue flowers that used to grow on the mountain slopes nearby, but they are no more, ever since a gigantic bird monster devoured them all. The bird monster recently laid some blue eggs, and Elena seems to have a solution that doesn't make sense to them. The color of the bird egg is normally white, but ever since it ate the blue flowers the egg it laid recently came out blue. Elena believes the bird must have passed its medicinal properties of the blue flowers it ate into its eggs and wants them to find the egg believing it can cure the diseases. John, Mayin, Alessi, and Elena embarks on a journey on top of the mountain where the nest of the bird is to get its egg. Whenever they decide to rest and eat, Alessi normally used the period to teach Elena how to shoot an arrow to defend herself. 
From a serious cough, Elena notices that Alice also have the disease and tells the others. John furiously asks Alassi why he never told her, but she replies that he has always been overprotected to her, and if not he found out earlier, he wouldn't have allowed her to join them on the mission. They live the sick Alessi in an opening in the mountains and ask Elena to watch over her. John and Mayin waits for the bird to live its nest, and when it does, they climb to the top to steal the blue egg. Immediately they gain possession of the egg, some hatchlings wakes up and chases them, but luckily they escape. Alassie is now half dead from the sickness, so without wasting any much time, Elena opens the egg and begins to feed Alassie with the blue liquid she found inside it. Elena theory was right after all, as the liquid heals Alassi instantly, while the rest is taken back to the village to cure the other sick villagers. Helping to save his daughter and his people's life, John reconciles with Mayin and welcomes Elena to his clan. Just then, one of the prisoners Elena helped escape from General Nerva prison shows up really wounded, and behind her is a soldier of Nerva who is on the hunt for her. Mayin and John takes down the soldier with their weapons but unfortunately, due to the fatal injury, the prisoner died on Alina's arms. When John tells Alina that this woman might have escaped from one of Nerva's mines nearby, Alina becomes eager to free the slaves who are being subjected to forced labor at the mine. John, Mayin, and Alessi, sharing the same sentiments about the slaves in Nerva's mines, decide to accompany Alina. The guards in the mine are too much for them to take down on their own, so they hatch a plan to infiltrate the mine. Elena disguises herself as a slave while Alessi disguises as a soldier of the mine, but their plans fails as their trick could not fool the mine leader, Gladiatrix, who catches them. Alessi is placed in an arena with two dinosaurs to eat her, while Elena is forced to watch. Smartly, Alessi turns the dinosaurs against each other and they ended up killing themselves. Elena and Alessi are thrown inside the prison in the mine. Elena sees some fireworms and uses it to unbind their chains. She hands as many fireworms as possible to Alessi for her to use to quietly free the slaves in the mines, while she goes to the drawbridge to create a passageway for their escape. After freeing the slaves, Alessi leads them on an organized rebellion against the soldiers in the mine. John and Mayin brought men from the village to help in the fight and together, they defeated Gladiatrix and her soldiers. John tells the slaves that they are free to go, but they decided to join his rank, so they can free the slaves in other mines and kill General Nerva. Mayin alerts Elena of the soldiers charging towards her with a sword. But as Elena aims her arrow at him, the soldier drops his sword and begs for mercy. As soon as she lowers her guard, he attacks her and escapes. As they return back to the village, Mayin trains the slaves to be a warrior. She trains Elena on how to use a spear and how to fight. On the other hand, that soldier Elena failed to kill runs to General Nerva and reports to him what happened and even reveal to him the location of their village. Later that night, General Gaius Nerva attacks their village with his men. John and Mayin never expected this attack as it caught them by surprise. According to John orders, Alessi organizes a retreat with the villagers, while the ones that can fight including John, Mayin, and Elena holds off Nerva's men. During the battle, General Nerva and Mayin goes on a one-on-one -on -one combat. Mayin appears to be more skillful and gains the upper hand, but Rockwell finds a tranquilizer in the rubble and shoots a dart at her, knocking her out. Nerva sees this as an opportunity to get some information, which is why he captures Mayin instead of killing her instantly. Elena tries to rescue her using her arrow, but John tells her to stop and assures they will rescue Mayin, but firstly they have to regroup. Mayin is locked up in General Nerva prison who later shows up and interrogate her concerning the location of Elena, but Mayin is not afraid but instead is prepared to die. Rockwell also comes to visit her too, and we find out that he was that friend she trusted in the past who betrayed them and joined Nerva forces. He tries to persuade her to side with them, but as a reply to his proposal, she spits on his face. On the other hand, John is frustrated because he can't think of a plan to infiltrate Nerva's stronghold because his stone walls are too high to repel over and too strong to batter down. An inventor in their tribe called Henry has an idea. If they can't knock down the walls, perhaps they can blow them up. He reveals to John and the rest that he has been making a new explosive compound, but the only issue is they have to climb the wall and place it inside Nerva Palace for the bomb to be more effective. Later that night, Alina and John sneaks inside Nerva Palace thanks to a lizard animal that helped them climb his walls. They placed explosive in every corner of the place and heads forward to rescue Mayan who was being crucified on a cross, but unfortunately, the general catches Alina with his men as he expected them to come rescue Mayan. Nerva and his men surrounds Alina asking her to surrender. However, Helena reveals that it is he who needs to surrender as John shows up out of nowhere and uses his fire arrow to detonate the explosives. It destroyed the gates, giving John men access to Nerval Palace for an attack. As Helena and Mayin escape, 
John stays behind to fight Nerva face to face. John is overpowered by Nerva after a long fight and is stabbed in the stomach. But before John breathes his last breath, he shoots one last bag of explosives engulfing the palace including Nerva's dinosaur. It was a happy ending for John. He wakes up in a beautiful afterlife where he reunites with his dead wife and daughter. Thank you for watching guys. The season 2 of this show will be out soon. If you don't want to miss out please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.